I uh, I don't know. Well, I already fucked it because I told her that her cooking sucked. So should I? I'm always I'm already in deep shit. Should I just? I'm sure I could get in even more deep shit, or should I just stem the bleeding? I uh. I don't know what you're talking about. I believe that both Paris and my girlfriend. Sarah Ellis are attractive females that are worthy of praise, and this fact matters little to the deep and enduring relationship I have with Sarah Ellis, the love of my life. Holy fucking canned answer, Batman. Dot dot dot. She, she's crafty. She she knows that's, she knows that's that's a false answer. Bullshit. That's what I said. Uh, she's pretty okay. You both are, but you're my soulmate. Hmm. Thanks for covering me for me. I'm a. Uh, he's probably just gonna agree with whatever I say, anyways, because he doesn't want to get thrown out. Because he doesn't. If I lied, he doesn't agree. Then he'll get thrown out because he would be the fake. So. Oh shit! What? Hmm. She's just a girl, no big deal. Yeah, and you and you've been making house calls. <laughs> what? <laughs> Something about fixing her email? Yeah, right. No, no, it's just that. She's got some serious malware problem. I've told her to stop clicking on those lose your flab emails. Honestly, that woman. Dot dot dot. I was just being nice. Just don't let me catch you doing something you shouldn't, bucko. Holy, calm your face. I have ears everywhere. <laughs> uh. Well, this has been very educational. Guess we're both sleeping on the couch. Uh, anything else you want to tell me? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm good. Ever since I laid eyes on you. Can I go? Oh, I can go back. What? I can go back? Right. I haven't found any other girl attractive. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's back up. Oh. Paris Buford is dumb as is as dumb as a brick. I'm sorry, but she is. She's a sweet girl, but dude, poor girl even thinks England is in Africa. Also, if you try sunbathing in a polluted, overpopulated, middle-class residential area with low walls, chances are you're a little soft in the head. Ha! That's true. <laughs> and then she snickers. Anyway, going back to the dilemma at hand, we really didn't make any progress, if you ask me. Yeah, I still don't know which one of you is which. Why don't we just flip a damn coin? <laughs> hey, you know, I'm all for that. I might get lucky. Right. Hardly think that's a good idea. Of course not. But at this point, I'm really at a loss. Dot dot dot. We still have to decide though. Ah. Fine. If you are the real Mike, what do you su suggest we do with the imposter? It's difficult. Uh. If I'm the real Mike. Okay, so if he's the real Mike, then he should stay Mike, right? And the other one has to leave. Go out in the world and find their own identity. The world is big anyways. I agree with that. Battle it out! Stab that fucker right in the jugular. <laughs> I agree with that. But I'm the one who's staying. Are you... Are you the real Mike? Of course I am. Is this still one of your weird question thingies? Just answer. Tell the truth. Yes, I am the real Mike. How about you? Are you the real Mike? You are. You am. Prove it then. Convince me. Uh. How about I serenade you with my guitar playing? That uh, guitar is kind of bent at the top. I don't think it'll work so well. Bit awkward. But I am Mike Jansen. Heart and mind. It's the only thing I know, really. I wouldn't know what else to say. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. We both did our best. No, I can't convince you. Can't convince you. There's no way to tell. You said so yourself. All I know is I am Mike and there's nothing 
and there's nobody else I can be. What are you going to do if I ever say you're the fake? I don't know. Can't leave. I don't want to. <laughs> Alright, I think I just need to ask one last question. So return to me. Alright, me? Me who's commentating? Mike. Yes? Do you know the date? Uh, 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 June 15th? <laughs> Actually, it's already June 16th. That means whatever caused all of this happened yesterday night. Can you remember anything? Not really. Not even a little bit? I I'm sorry, I tried, but the last thing I remember is feeling very tired, falling asleep in front of the TV. <sighs> dot, 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 dot. That span of time is crucial. It's the missing piece of the mystery. Either that's when you started to exist, or you are not telling us something. <laughs> started to exist? Is it just me, or am I getting the feeling that I'm the odd one out? Awkward silence. We're just trying to help. No! You shut your mouth! <laughs> Probably a victim, too. What? So both of you ha have agreed that I'm the fake? When was this arranged? You did just appear out of thin air, Mike. You're the stranger who barged into the house. Add to that, you have no memory of yesterday's events. It just doesn't see make sense. You don't make sense. My chest felt heavy at Sarah's words. This can't be happening. Everything is turning against me. Even Sarah. W what do you want me to say? I've already told you everything. Yesterday I went to work, came home, dozed off in front of the TV, and I woke up here. I've already said this. Well, how did you get here? Did you walk? Did you take the bus? Did you ride in a rainbow unicorn? <laughs> facts, Mike. I need to know the facts. Guys, calm down. Seeing that the two of you fight is just freaky. Dot, dot, dot. I really can't remember, okay? If I could, I have no reason to hide it. I've been nothing but honest since I got here. Not entirely true, but, uh... Maybe a selective amnesia? That is that is not a reason, just an excuse. No, that's a legitimate medical... Uh, a legitimate medical uh, thing that happens. Like, I... I know I'm Mike. Please believe me. What if you're a clone and you have no idea? What? A clone? I... You wouldn't know any better. Awkward silence. Clone. Is that possible? Am I just delusioned? Disillusioned? Maybe my desire to be... Mike fabricated my memories and led me here. But then wouldn't the Mike on screen ha have memory of being cloned? Or he would have had to be knocked out somehow, then cloned and brought back here. Then he would know he was knocked out. Being suddenly unconscious and then conscious again without it being sleep. You feel that even if you just pass out normally, you know you passed out most of the time. And when people go, oh, what happened? Obviously, they know they passed out and people always go, well, you passed out. No, fuck, I passed out. What happened? Like that kind of thing. So, rant over. Maybe I blocked out the last hours of my mind because I didn't want to know the truth. My head began to throb with frustration. I turned to stare. I hope I... The hope I needed was nowhere in her eyes. Sarah, please. Dot, dot, dot. I, I'm sorry. It's just that... I stood there dumbfounded, a drowning man robbed of his final lifeline. I looked at Sarah and Mike, but they both voided my eyes. Never felt so alone. Fear surged in my blood. It turned into betrayal and anger. How, did Sarah, how could Sarah let me down? I need her the most right now. But she wouldn't listen to anything beyond her theories. How right can she be anyways? This is just, this is just a matter of choice and opinion. And the truth is as sharp as it is simple. She just chose not to believe. Me. My teeth gritted. You thought I could- I thought I could count on you, Sarah. I thought you wouldn't let me down. Don't say that. You don't know how hard this is for me. No! You don't know how hard this is for me! Oh yeah, I'm just having a- a fabulous time over here. Stop villainizing me, Mike. I've done what you asked. 
I've been, I really wish I had a webcam because I've just been pointing angrily and with gusto at the screen this whole time. And I wish you could see it. it's pretty great. No, you didn't. I just did it again. You just jumped to conclusions and refused to listen to my reasoning. You said one night of trivia questions wouldn't be enough, but then you turned around and just like that, accused me of hiding something. That's, that's not fair. That's right, it's not fair. Fair? Fair? Right. That sounds rich coming from you. <laughs> me. Stop. You're hurting her. No, you shut up. You agreed with her. I know nothing ab about this is easy, but I think you have to take a step back. Awkward silence. We'll help you, okay? But the way things are going, emotions are running really high. We should take a breather from this. Why don't you just come by again tomorrow and we'll figure it out. And go where? What? You can probably hear that because I have dishes on my desk. And every time I, you'll know I'm slamming my hand on the desk. What? Are you asking me to leave? No. Well, I'll leave too if you want. Shut up. You're just trying to get rid of me. Again. I, I didn't mean it like that. It's just... I didn't. I'll just read them in a different tone of voice. I think that's what I'm going to go for. I didn't. Calm down. No. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Fear and despair turned into hot burning anger. How dare this guy suggest that I leave. This is America, goddammit. This asshole who is taking everything that is mine. You have some nerve. Mike. I punched the imposter's face and tackled him to the ground. I pummeled him with every... Punched so I could land. Sarah's... <laughs> was that just a slapping sound? Sarah's screams of warning and anger faded into the background. What? Am I slapping him to death? Everything felt like a million miles away. Just listen. Okay, no, that was like a crashing. Even as my fist came in contact with his flesh, I felt f strangely distant. Serene. See, there it was. I'm slapping myself to death. Like I was only a ghost hovering over what was happening. I didn't even notice Sarah's hands pulling me to stop. I simply continued beating him like a frenzied animal. There was a feeling of being controlled. I savored it. I let it. Whoa, red flash. But his lower lip split in a huge, into a huge unsightly gash. Warm blood tainted my, red, my fist red. It was then that I stopped and shocked. What am I doing? I'm beating myself up. <laughs> what am I? But when I looked down at him, his mouth twisted into an amused smile. His eyes glowed with a sinister shade of red. Have you started downing yourself yet, Mike? I wouldn't be surprised. You were always a little soft. I like your punches. He let out a hoarse chuckle. I gripped his throat and brought my fingers heavy on his neck. Bastard, shut up or I'll kill you! His words came out in short, dry bursts, like tiny firecrackers sizzling out their last last of the wick. Hmm, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Haven't you fantasized about this? What's it like to kill? To have that power? Oh, you're doing it, congrats. I'm a fucking psycho, apparently! I secretly fantasized about killing people and relishing in that fact about the rush I would get. I... Okay. I... Apparently I'm a psycho. Uh... Shut up! Are you aroused right now? Does your... <laughs> weenie feel good? <laughs> Fuck you! For I knew it, my hands grabbed the nearby bat with all intentions of bringing it down on my face. I'll kill Sarah. Help me. Ugh. Mike. His expression changed from evil to helpless in a split second. Whoa. Pain ripped through my body as the bullet pierced my skin. I looked back and saw Sarah. We have a gun. Oh, that's right. She's a police officer. My beautiful Sarah. She had her gun all along. I should have known. She had tears in her eyes. Sarah, it's not your fault. I wished to say that I didn't mean those awful things I said. But when I opened my mouth, a soft wet trail of blood 
blocked my breath. Drowning. Feels like... Drowning. They're not gonna take me to the hospital? What assholes? Mike? Run. Sarah? Pain flooded my body as every last bit of me struggled for air. Someone's screaming no. It can't. I thrashed out, struggled. <laughs> Looked at Sarah while I still could. And I was struck by an unbearable feeling of loneliness. Now that I'm here, I didn't really think about the end. Just pain and how to make it stop. But ah, everything is fading now. I welcomed it. It felt fine. And for the fallen hero. All right, so we didn't figure out who Mike was, but I did get myself killed accidentally because I totally forgot she was a police officer, but I just wanted to stab that fucker in the jugular and I just had to, I just had to do it. So uh, there will definitely be more of this. I want to go down the path of where I calmed down and see how long that path continues on for. But, uh, there'll be more videos after this. There are five endings in total, I think. I don't think I'm going to get to all of them. This has been Me, Myself, and Home. Signing out. Peace out.